So something else we won't talk about a whole lot in this class, but just keep in mind it, it exists. And if you want sophisticated models uh, for geomaterials, then you also, you know, uh, particularly if you're working on, you know, if you find yourself working on geothermal reservoirs at some point, um, you know, you also have a, a thermal effect. And so in this case, the, the, the stress has, you have your normal, your normal effective stress for the pore elasticity, but then includes a term um, in, in, that's uh, due to the change in temperature, right? So th the um, K is the material's bulk modulus. Alpha is a coefficient of thermal expansion. And delta T would be uh, just the, the temperature at which you're doing the, you know, the temperature of, of the reservoir uh, minus some reference temperature. Typically, the reference temperature would be like 20 degrees C or something. And so you also notice that, so remember, our stress is a tensor, right? The effective stress is a tensor. And just like the poral, the poral mechanical response is only if, uh, acts on the hydrostatic part. Like, so you have this multiplication times the identity matrix so that it only, it only acts on the hydrostatic part. The same thing with the, thermal expansion, right? So there's no, heat will not cause any shearing of the rock, right? To increase the temperature or cool the rock down, it's going to cause an isotropic expansion or contraction of the rock. It's not going to shear the rock. 